Aquarius, welcome to my channel. I am Raven from Arendelle, south of Norway, and this will be your general energy check. And I'm going to go through your 12 houses to see what needs to be done right now whenever you receive this message. It might be for you. It is timeless and based on the construct human construct of synchronicity however that, ah, that, ah, that action, that's actually a real thing we do communicate with the universe all the time you are being shown numbers you are being shown signs when you're passing someone in the traffic etc etc so ooh, what do you know <laughs> what do you know let's see so the same goes for the cars. I, I, I really need to, to slow down on my speech. I want, I want to tell you everything in one go. <laughs> and the Lenormand cards are kind of popping up. So I want to have a small check. Uh, what is going on with the Norman cards because when they are moving like that they want to do the salsa with us then then I feel that okay what is it that you want guys what is it that you want so yeah I really do miss my second Norman deck it is far away from me at least one flight trip and I want the back <laughs> usually I lay when I lay the Lenormand deck I usually lay two to three layers and then I need to have three different decks all right let's play I did say Aquarius right yeah I did say Aquarius <laughs> You'll have to excuse me if I say something else. Okay. So in your first house, taking action has something to do with the book. Now in your second house, when it comes to belongings, when it comes to property, when it comes to sensation, it has to do with your heart. Your heart is connected. So perhaps you need to look out for your heart a little bit. When it comes to your health right now is quite looking good you're looking happy let's see more when it comes to your fourth house you are being given a key perhaps there is something given to you the key solves everything on this road there is a journey here and the main person you are landing in the third house which is about communication and small travels and not to mention sales if you're dealing with a partner right now, uh, they're coming out as false. Someone, th there is trickery here, basically, or a friend, someone you cannot trust. The stock represents in the eighth house that there is a big transformation going on here. And the ninth house talks about that there is a community group here perhaps on one of your travels, on a long journey, or a spiritual group that you're connected to. Let's see what we fill them up with. On your 10th house, there is an actual house. There is an actual house. So it's landing with the key on top. Someone of you might, whoever gets this message, someone here, you could share also if you know someone who are about to lose someone or just lost someone due perhaps to a heart cardio arrest. Okay. And you need to do some studies regarding law perhaps in order to get your rights, but someone here have the rights to a house with a key card here, but you might have to travel. Health, your personal health though is looking good, but you might meet some obstacle when it comes to 12th house, where is, you know, emotions hidden, where we hide our emotions, where we pretend we do not see, we hide things in the 12th house, that's also our subconsciousness. When it comes to the book, someone here are studying higher learning. 
And when it comes to the heart, it's actually something to celebrate. So cardiac arrest, I don't know, for some of you maybe, but for the second layer of you guys, there is also a celebration coming in here for the main individual, which is you. There is someone here who is not right when it comes to communication. It could be miscommunication here with, with the Empress in reverse and the main person, you and someone else, a divine feminine. Now this divine feminine is not ripe as, she's not, you know, she could be all posh. I know, I smell Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is someone who is promoting unhealthy values, unhealthy body images. And so she might look beautiful, she might be fertile, but it's, it's, it's a lot of negativity that this kind of entertaining is spreading. Now with the key card here, it could have been given to someone who is, who is equally uh, as full of slander and vicious gossip and who is a little bit who is very jealous and, and a little bit obsessive when you know that's mine that belongs to me so it could be so that the key is given to the wrong person when it comes to travel there is someone beautiful coming in here Someone that you might even uh, experience a romance with. Someone who are down to earth. There is strong Capricorn energy here. And yeah, they could be in the bone of the rabbit. You never know. Follow the white rabbit. This is someone who is full of love and fertility. And they are very gracious, honorful and well, well, you know. So again, Leo energy, when it comes to your sixth house, you coming out, your health is coming out, is very, very strong. Fake person, this fake person here in your surrounding is giving you a burden. So if you experience, uh, if you are dating someone fake, if you have a friend who is fake, you will know if you learn to, to touch your intuition a little bit, you will know. And this is someone who you could even desire them, but they're coming out as a burden. When it comes to your little transformation here, it could uh, have something to do with an ending regarding a family situation. So that's why you might have to go to court or to this garden here, because someone here are abusing finance you know maybe you know i see some of you are in a divorce here basically mm -hmm. and someone here are playing dirty someone here are wasting money and time which could affect the property do i have heard that story before and why does it repeat itself in aquarius someone here could be over isolated and they don't want to face the reality that have you know the, their own decay which have afflicted other people so the try the tree is hiding under the moon a secret and something have stagnated so someone here will end in codependence or in a codependency due to this person this person can actually be quite a tyrant and so yes for sure there is a split hair in a relationship someone are holding on to the last core they can and they refuse to work you might have a soulmate coming in who is bringing clarity to the situation and also a victory, but you will also lose someone. There is a stagnation here and some tension regarding sleep. There is also someone here who is very charming, who have issues disconnecting from the situation. You could share a child with someone, but there is this energy here of need, the need to self-defense. So at this point, this chapter will end and with the chapter end you might have uh, a solid offer coming in but i would be careful for that solid offer again for same as you aquarius as i've given to anyone else time is yet 
not ripe for you. Now look at the positive things here. You do are uh, you do have a very good position in your in your spiritual involvement, and there for sure is something to celebrate here. You have a wonderful person coming in for you, and there is loyalty here from one of you, and there is someone here not of trust. Your health again, you're doing good. You're strong as an ox. Prosperity is lying ahead. Don't let your past hold you back. That's your messages. Emotions are running high and the beautiful moon here. Look at the bigger picture. And you are very, very close to achieving your goal. But be careful for someone who do not wish you well. Be careful for someone who might waste your money, your time. And this individual will turn into this individual and will create a barrier for your future. That's what you need to watch out for, Aquarius. Love you very much and I'll catch you on the flip side.